I'm Wasted Firebird and we're at the New South Wales Van Titles. I'm Wasted Firebird and today we're going to the New South Wales Van Titles. My main goal for the day is to try to find a Royal Plum Holden Sandman because apparently they came in purple but I've never seen one in purple. That would be my personal choice for a color for a Sandman. I need to apologize to all of Australia and in fact all of the world because a year ago I read that the bees were doing pretty good because you know about 10 years ago we heard the bees were all dying out and we were all doomed. Six months ago we made the video at the Birdwood Museum and we kind of started singing a little song about it and so I thought oh I should write a song about how the bees are coming back and the bees are recovering and how things are getting better and, and so I spent six months writing the song if we can vacate every bit of ambiguity, we won't equivocate and altercate in perpetuity. The broken window fallacy has taught by Bastiat. The scene is what we see, but what's not seen is where it's at. And then by the time that I made the video and released it and everything, well now, yeah, the bees are facing some more problems. But still, the world has not ended yet. And it was kind of funny that really the comments proved my point that negativity bias does rule the world. Here's the thing, nobody seems to care. Negativity bias is everywhere. People were very, very excited to tell me and to inform me that in fact, the bees are still experiencing some problems. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much for, for letting me know that. It's still a fun song. The point still holds true. Negativity bias is still a problem. And the world hasn't ended, you know. The bees are maybe not back, but they're, they're hanging in there at least. Bees aren't back. Bees are dead. We can't park here. We can't park here. Do you know whose car this is? Yeah. Whose is it? Mine. Then you're gonna have to move it, Darren. You just can't park it here. Bees are dead. Bees are dead. Bees are dead. Bees are dead. This is the new Subaru WRX wagon that we don't get in the United States. And in World Rally Blue. Oh my God, I'm in love. <laughs> oh man, these taillights are great. These taillights are kind of an anachronism, but in this case, I love these. So if I were here to tell a story to you, it would be more compelling if I were to build up to the climax. Problem is, I'm a little too excited to build up to the climax. So we're going to start with the climax at the beginning. I'm going to try and find that Royal Plum Sandman. I see something purple in the distance. Well, that might tell a compelling story as well. If I run towards the purple vehicle and discover that it's not a Royal Plum Sandman, and then later I find the real Royal Plum Sandman, now that could be a compelling story. Funny thing is, it turns out that life is not always a compelling story. Sometimes it's just life. When you tell people about your life though, you gotta turn it into a story. So you throw out the boring stuff. I think we're about to experience a setback, ladies and gentlemen. But is it really a setback? A purple Bedford van? That's pretty awesome. We'll just, we'll just look at every purple. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Do you know if it was purple when it came out of the factory? I have no idea. Okay. I'm trying to find one that, of one of these that was purple when it came out of the factory. Okay, let's go look at this Bedford van. This, this could be a very exciting development. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's it. It's Royal Plum. It says it was Royal Plum from the factory. Bees love 70s colors as well. That bee is back. Bees are back. Bees are back. Bees are back. Bees are back. Everyone's going to make fun of me for this because I can never remember chassis codes. I like the Sandmans that just have the, the two headlights, not the four headlights. Before I came to Australia, I 
found one of these in a model form and I bought oh, it. Yes. And yes. like I paid big money for it for because it. I wasn't sure if I'd ever be back or anything, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And basically this is like my favorite Australian car in my favorite color. Oh. Yes, yeah, it's like this is so cool. You're yeah. so lucky to have this. Royal Plum. So there you go. We got the climax. So it's only gonna get worse from here, folks. I mean, might as well just end the video, I guess. We found what we were looking for, so. There's a Gemini Gypsy over here too. Look at this. We found two holy grails parked right side by side. No, wait, we got a shot over the music. La 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 la. Oh, a gypsy at the gypsy. I... <laughs> There's a gypsy with a gypsy. This song is not by Fleetwood Mac. This song is by Wasteland Firebird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, these are so rare, aren't they? Two. Only two? Oh. Like, what do you mean? There's more than two gypsies, right? No, no. No, no, not left. I think they only ever made 50. So gypsies are so rare that there might only be two left. In Australia. And I saw one a couple weeks ago at the Bendigo Van Nationals. Oh. It was a blue. Victoria blue one. Yes, that's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah that's so it. you're saying that's that, like, I may now have... Seen the two. I may have seen the only two gypsies in Australia. <laughs> if you have a gypsy, let me know. If I'm wrong about this, if we're wrong about this, tell me, and I want to see your hunk of junk, rusty gypsy too, because these are, that's a rare thing. This was the poster child, um, so the Holden promotional car that did the trip around Australia. It did yeah. a trip around Australia? Yes. Yeah, it came out before all the others in 79, and then the others were released in 80. You're older than me, and you didn't know what those things are. <laughs> I've never been to a drive-in in, until last year. <laughs> really? I'm a young guy. I'm pretty young, you know. Why, why, why do you keep shooting? If you think I'm going to say something to contradict that? I'm young at heart. So we've got the caravan as well over here. The sand van. Okay. It's towed behind the sand man. Good thing for colours, in those 70s colours. You guys over there had, and that's where it all come from, eh? Yes, I love the colors of the 70s. Yeah. Where have all the colors gone? Long time passing. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time passing. I just love anything 70s. There's a cool trailer right here. He's gonna show us a cool trailer. So you're saying you own that purple Sandman? That one that you just saw over there. Yeah. That's right beside the Gypsy. Yeah, which my wife owns. <laughs> you own <laughs> the two Holy Grail cars that I was hoping to find here today. Go and have a look inside. Gorgeous little clock here. Another gorgeous clock. A Mambo poster. I know about the Mambo Sandman. The last video that we just made was all about researching these Mambo Sandman. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the late model ones, yeah. Sandman panel van with a Sandman Ute trailer. Ford Sundowner. Ford Sundowner. This is a modern one. It says 1999 on it. It is, yeah, it is. This yours? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I assume Ford didn't make them like this from the factory today. No, 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 not like, not at all. Or wasn't the one I wanted with a, and by 1980 XD and mate just didn't have the money. Uh huh. So, well, this, is, this was the, uh, and we hadn't seen one like this before. So um, we did, we decided to build it. Ford, how hard would it have been to just make this? Look at this, it's beautiful. Something else over here. You, you can see it, but I can't see it because I, I don't want to. I don't want to get too excited yet. There's a Ford Escort Sundowner behind me that 
I've never seen in this color before. It's green! Oh my god. My favorite colors are purple, orange, green, and also yellow. And red and blue are pretty good too, actually. You might do a lap here. What are you doing up here? Look at vans. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm here for. I know, vans are amazing. Yeah, van to go to here. I know. It's fantastic. I know. The, the video is supposed to be going up tonight, except for the fact that like we got a copyright hit on one of the songs that was playing in one of the vans. We're in the 70s. In the 70s. Living in the 70s. And then I had to re-upload the whole thing, two gigs from a hotel room, and it was taking like an hour. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, we gotta go. So this, can... this guy will be in that video, except that, wait, this is happening after that video. So this is the same guy you previously saw briefly <laughs> in the Bendigo Van National video. <laughs> and you actually run the event, like, don't you? Don't you run the Bendigo Van National? I ran the Bendigo one, yeah. Well, I won't hold you up. You keep going. All right. Have a day. Ta -da. That's the best show car sign I've ever seen. <laughs> They've actually embroidered everything onto a pair of jeans. Atlantis Blue. Did you see the Bicky Tin? The Bicky Tin? If, if I owned this car, I would be like, I already own the car. I don't need the Bicky Tin. People always have to model their own car and they put it in the car. It's like, come on, just give me the model because I can't have the car. So we really appreciate you coming. Uh -huh. Make the event out of it. Uh -huh. I hope you look after it, okay? Oh, yes. That is gorgeous. This one has an interesting aesthetic decision. It has realistic flames in front and graphical flames in back. Now back to the purple thing we were looking at earlier. Look at the purple interior. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting my fortune told. Or someone's going to tell me the moment of my death. I don't think these will fit on a car battery. I'm not too sure. I mean, you yeah, can try. Like jump, you got some jumper leads there, yeah. Oh, and look, they've got, they've got all dog collars here, so even your pet can go <laughs> So when you're, oh, taking, no. <laughs> when you're taking your pet with you on a road trip. When you take, yeah, when your pet wants to go on a road trip with you, you have collars and you have leashes here. Sounds very right to me. <laughs> Whatever this is, I don't think we got this in the United States. Chrysler Valiant 318 V8. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. What cars are you hoping to see today? I don't know yet. Some Ferraris? Uh, I wish. I don't think there's any Ferraris here. I know. I can give you a scavenger hunt, though. You want to look for... Okay, see that black one? That's a Sandman, okay? But you want to look for that car except in purple. Because there is one over here in purple. That's your scavenger hunt, okay? <laughs> I think a lot of the kids like the TikToks. The TikToks? Zigzag. Seen you for a while. Not TikTok, YouTube. YouTube. That's and I'm it. on there every week. So if yeah. you haven't seen me for a while, that's your fault. Yeah. You should check me every week on Sundays. We got the sand, I've got a Sandman there now. I know you like Sandman. Oh yeah, we're just checking them all out. What color is yours? You're the green HQ. Tube is not always going to put it in front of you. Oh, aren't they? The, the trick is to turn on notifications. Uh, okay. And usually, usually that that is the bell. The, the little bell is like yeah. notifications. Yeah. And so then usually it'll be better about telling you when oh, I post okay. something. Because it just comes up in my Well that's the thing is it'll only do that like I'm still like a small, you know, yeah. volume channel. So it'll only do that if I have a video that gets a lot of views. Yeah. Like if I get like a thousand views on a video, it doesn't even like think of that yeah, as a video. Yeah. So but don't get me wrong, like I'm really proud of those videos. Yeah. Like I, I think I some like of them. the 
Well, I think some of the best videos we've done are the smaller, the, the videos that don't get as many views are some of the best videos we've done. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, I would strongly encourage you to go check those out. I usually put uh, classic restos on. Yeah, and right. Watch Fletch. And right. Then, and then when I'm watching him, your one will come up. Yeah. So well, I'm did like, you see that I met Fletch? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that was so cool. Yeah. This is an amazing color. So this was a factory color? Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, my that's God. That's original thing. Yeah. I restored it. Yeah, 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 but no, that's still that's an amazing color. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of between yellow and green, but I mean, yeah. I think it's green, right? It is green. Yeah, yeah, but it has a lot of yellow in it. Yeah. Barbados green. Well, the fact is, I make a video every week. If you haven't seen me, it's because YouTube thought you wouldn't enjoy my videos, okay? You have to make an effort. Yes, if you need help working the computer, speak to a millennial. Someone said they saw me on TikTok. I can assure you that you did not. I don't know what it is. I think it's from India. I think you're right. This might be like a Tata or a Nana. Or... Mahindra. It's a Mahindra. You think you don't have a variety of cars in Australia? You get cars from India. You don't get cars from India in the United States. Let me just say, if you're gonna steal a car, you need to treat it like it's your job, okay? So you need to learn how to drive stick. It's just like you're if you're working at a car wash or you're working at a mechanics. You gotta be able to drive stick, okay? So car thieves, you gotta up your game. You gotta take your job seriously. Have a little pride in your work. It violates the community standards. We, we get demonetized. I steal cars all the time. I, I don't make videos about it. I'm not evil, I'm irreverent. This has been the New South Wales Van Title. I'm Wes Fiber. Thank you for inviting me into your home or onto your portable device. Have a good night. L-I-V-I-N-L-I-F-E. No, L-I-V-I-N-Z. L-I-F-E. Oh! L-I-V-I-N. The L-I-V-E. Living crap. Living the life? Oh, living the life. I forgot how to spell. Okay. L-I-V-I-N. The L-I-F-E. Living. L-Y-F-E. Why is it life? That's how you spell life. That's how you spell it when you're talking about van life. Okay. L I V I N D L Y F E living, 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 living. I'm with the fiber and I'm living the van life. Living. Okay. The whole thing is uh, him. He's an American and he reacts to cars in Australia mostly. <laughs>